Hey everyone, you are welcome to the Canva Design Critique and in this very tutorial or episode, not tutorial, but episode, we are going to be looking at a design that was sent to me by Divanchuk or something like that. Like the name is down there, you can find it and um, pronounce it the way you want to. So let's dive into Canva and let's see how best we are going to, you know, improve the design if only there is something to improve upon. So yes, let's roll the intro. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to introduce you to Canva Pro or to, you know, um, recommend Canva Pro to you. If you are looking to, you know, um, move to the next level, then Canva Pro is the thing to invest in. So I have a special link in the description box below that can help you to upgrade to Canva Pro at a very cool price. Or even if you are looking at trying Canva Pro for free, the same link can help you to do that. So check it out, you know, play around Canva Pro to see if it's something you would want to invest in and um yeah let's dive into canva and let's see what we are going to improve today all right so this is the design that was sent to me and um the first time i saw the design was some few minutes before recording this tutorial and i was just wondering what i could actually do to improve this design but you know i think the design looks good you know how it looks it looks very good but you know um even in as much as it's looking very good i know i'm contradicting myself here but i also thought there were some few things to do to tweak the design okay so what i would do if i was the one creating this design what i'm going to do is with all of these um things over here i know is a focal point you understand so i will drop it a little bit down okay to the center and i would also increase the size a little bit okay so something like this then with these texts over here i would also drop them down and funny enough i do not understand what these texts um, mean you know right now i just don't understand yeah i don't even know the language but um whatever it means you know i will just drop it down a little bit okay so okay so you can see what i'm doing then um this maybe i think this is locked so i'll just unlock it and tweak you know just reduce it a little bit okay because we don't want people to be focusing on this the main thing they should focus on is what we have over here and um, also here and um yeah maybe this one also we can just increase it a little bit and move it maybe somewhere here you know and um, i'll add more blur to to it okay so i click and um come to edit image and um see all i know there's blur in it but i'll add some extra blurriness to it and i think you know with the image i don't know if it has been cropped or not okay i think that's the um image but what i would say is when you are using images try as much as possible to let the image have a little bit of room so that even if you add some blurriness to it it wouldn't look like um the image has been cropped you know because the size look very flat if you can see from here let me zoom in for you to look at it you can see the size look very flat as if it's been called but that's the actual image you know so um overall i would say that yes i like how all of these things have been arranged here very beautiful and very creative and uh, maybe with these leaves to you can add about two or three instead of just leaving you know just one over here you know some two or three and um maybe one can also be here just to make the design look more interesting okay and um, this can also come back come down over here okay so this is really about it this is what i think about this very design i think you know the design was beautifully done i love it i love everything you've done over here and um you know great job to you you have done very well so i hope you enjoyed this i know this was very short but i just hope you still um got a few tips and tricks from this very tutorial and if you also want me to critique your design what you can do is you can send me an email um of your design and please and please send the editable link of your design okay so you have to email it to benjaminmino at gmail.com that's the email you should use and yes the name is benjamin if you want your design to be the next one email me your design and yes that's it for today always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video.